Hey guys, so this is the PC that I built a few years ago, I think in 2012 and since then it has been working fine, it has been serving well, it has served as a gaming PC initially, then I turned it into a media center PC and now it runs as a media server PC without a monitor. But Alright, so coming to the specifications, this computer is running a Sandy Bridge Core i5-2310 CPU which is not overclocked, initially this computer had a Core i3-2110 but I eventually upgraded that to a Core i5 earlier this year. 6 gigabytes of RAM, GTX 550 Ti from Zotac, a Cooler Master 460 Watt Thunder power supply, 3 terabytes of storage. You can see two of these are laptop hard drives and one is a desktop hard drive. And finally, a fan controller from NZXT. And the case I'm using is a Corsair Carbide 400R which is a very nice case, lots of space available for my build. Anyways, this thing has been working fine. But for the past few days, I have been experiencing some issues with the system stability. So what happens is the computer power cycles all by itself. That means the computer turns off and then turns back on all by itself. And once you log in into Windows, I can see this error a message over here. If I tap on events, you can see Microsoft Windows kernel power and uh, there you can see turned off by itself I did not touch anything I did not do anything and there you go it powers on again and once Windows will start up I'll get that exact same error message and this problem is even more severe if I play a video game or put any sort of load on the computer so as soon as I load up a video game this computer will restart Anyways, in this video I will show you how to correctly diagnose the source of the problem and if you have a problem which is similar to this, you can use this video guide and try and uh, find the source of the problem on your own PC. And another thing I've noticed, the hard drive makes a clicking sound uh, every once in a while. Now I've tested this hard drive on my main PC, it is fine. I've tested these two RAM sticks, these are fine and I've tested this graphics card in my main PC again this is also fine alright guys so the first thing you should do is turn your computer off and remove the mains cable from the power supply and then move on to this cable and make sure that it is plugged in all the way you can see there should be no gap in between there should be no gap on the other side also and just generally take a look at these cables make sure that none of them are popping out or anything so I can already tell this thing is plugged in properly, no problems. And there is also another cable which is hiding over there that is also plugged in properly. I've checked that before. And then check the PCIe power cable which goes into your graphics card is plugged in properly or not. And then we're going to move on to the back of the computer and then you'll need to check whether these cables are properly plugged in into your hard drives or not. In my case, every each and every cable is plugged in properly, so there is no issue with the connection. Alright guys, so unfortunately, even after reseating these cables, the computer restarted and if we take a look at this event viewer, you can see the exact same problem still exists. Microsoft Windows kernel power. So that shows that the problem is still there. And now we're going to move on to part number two, which is testing this power supply. So to test the power supply, you will need a multimeter. You can buy this off Amazon. These are real cheap. We're going to probe the uh, Molex connector of this power supply and see if this power supply is able to supply 12 volts to the computer. All right, guys. So here you can see I've got my probes plugged in into the Molex connector of the power supply. The red probe goes into the yellow wire and the uh, black probe goes into any of these two black cables. And right from the start, I can tell that this power supply is faulty. You can see the voltages. It's outputting about 10.9 uh, volts and this should be at least 11.9. And right now the computer is idle. It is not doing anything. You can see how low the voltages are. And this is on the 12 volt rail. So yeah, the power supply is bad. Alright, so as a reference here, you can see we are getting 12 volts under load from my main computer so this is an HP power supply 600 watts and under load it's able to output 12 volts no problem so yeah this is a cooler master power supply by the way cooler master thunder power supply 460 watts 
So what I'm going to do now is load up a video game and see if it restarts or I'm gonna see how much the voltages drop. Now I know this thing will restart because as soon as you put some load onto the CPU and GPU the voltages will drop. Alright so I'm spectating a game in Dota 2 the computer is under load the graphics card is working so the voltage output by the power supply is at 10.75 volts and I think this is just way too low to sustain anything um, I think this computer will shut down at any point of time right now so yeah this is way out of spec for the ATX uh, standards I think this is and yeah the power supply is definitely faulty so yeah time to replace the power supply and there you go the computer just turned off by itself all right guys my new power supply is here i've bought the corsair vs550 it's got a 120 millimeter fan on the top and yeah really nice power supply it's a value series power supply so this is the base model of corsair uh, corsair series so they have the vs series they have the cx series and they have the hxi series so if you have a dual GPU setup, go with the CX and the HX series power supply. Otherwise, the VS series will do just fine. You can see all of these cables are nicely braided. And this one's got a single 12 volt rail, which is capable of supplying 504 watts. So the previous one had dual 12 volt rails. But really the big difference here is that this one is 550 watts and this one is 460 watts. So yeah, the Corsair one is replacing the Cooler Master power supply. So I will install this and I will get back to you guys and then we'll test the PC and see if there are any more problems that exist. Alright so I have installed the new power supply and everything is working fine. So far there has been no uh, random restarts. I have been using this PC for about a day now and this time I have installed two desktop hard drives. This is not plugged in. This is an old hard drive. It's not plugged in. Two desktop hard drives and one laptop hard drive back there. So yeah, and I am stress testing this PC right now. So Rise of the Tomb Raider is running. And the graphics card unfortunately is not capable of running this game. So this is a 550 Ti. And the GPU usage is pinned at 100% as you can see over here. But yeah, the computer is running. No more restarts. So it was the power supply which was faulty. And as you can see, I've installed it upside down. So the fan is down there. There's a fan uh, grill at the bottom of this case. So it will be able to pull air, no problem. And my fan controller is also working. So there you can see I can control fan speed from this thing. Same for the top fans. I usually keep it off because the case is right now open and I have also been measuring voltages as you can see the probes are plugged in in one of the connectors and under load the voltage is around 12.15 and this does not fluctuate much so yeah even when I'm not gaming the voltage is somewhere between 12.15 to 12.17 so everything is now working fine Alright guys, thank you for watching this video and I hope this video will help you out in diagnosing power supply problems on your own computer. If you're facing a problem like I did, like random restarts without any warnings and most probably it's your power supply which is dying. So the computer is working fine now. So thank you guys for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these and I'll see you guys next time.